I arrived here this morning wondering if for sure immigration is a hot button ethical issue. Then I went to the pre-talk session and I found it definitely was. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard such a wide ranging and energetic discussion in a long time. Well, what I want to share today has not a wide ranging uh, look at immigration, but uh, it's more personal, I suppose you'd say. I read a recent article titled Apps, 911 Services, and Mobile Homes, Mobile Phones Don't Offset Deadly Consequences of More Restrictive Border Policies. The author is a researcher at Michigan State and a child of immigrants herself. She explained that modern moves to make it easier for immigrants to contact authorities were rarely used because immigrants are wary of making themselves known to authorities. She adds, quote, From the early 1990s to the present, I found that while laws and policies intended to slow migration at the U.S.-Mexico border have not generally curbed migration, they have consistently led to more migrants dying along the journey. End of quote. Well, that's because instead of facing being turned back at the border checkpoints, desperate immigrants have for years turned to crossing in Sonora's harsh Sonoran desert. Six years ago, Laudit Public Library hosted the Migrant Quilt Project. The display, which moved from city to city across the country, consisted of 17 quilts honoring those whose bodies were found in the desert. The first quilt respects the lives and deaths of 136 people in a year starting in 2000. The display continues with a quilt for people, including children, found dead each year up to the date of the display. I shared that po this poem here at that time uh, because I wrote it after that viewing of the uh, project, but I'd like to share it again. Sewing the Names, a poem for the lives honored in the mi Migrant Quilt Project. Why these 17 beautiful quilts? Why these icons and crosses? these maps and hand-drawn hearts. Didn't it start as trash found in the desert? Bits of clothing strewn among the diapers, water bottles, and food wrappers? Why so hour upon hour? Why the names, hundreds upon hundreds, stitched on denim, sewn into fabric, square by square, quilt by quilt? They were birthed from what could not be carried farther in the scorching desert, the detritus of those in desperate haste. And the names? Those are the names of the dead. We do not know them, yet we do. For like us, they loved their children. They wanted safety. They sought work, a home, and food. Like us, they wanted life. See the artistry? Here is a quilt whose image is a blazing star. Here one with a cross. Here are hearts and icons and skulls. But always the names, the many names, and over and over, desconocito, for those who never will be named. But why so many hours of stitching? Why freight the quilts from city to city? Is it so we will remember? Is it to break our hearts? Is it to make us speak, to act? Only we can answer. So hang lovely quilts, born of dreams, heavy with sorrow and loss. Draw us near with beautiful fabric and colorful images and bring our eyes close to the names of the dead that we may answer. <laughs>